If you've ever lost something, you know just how frustrating it can be. Now imagine if what you lost was a priceless treasure. But more so than just being lost, there are some irreplaceable treasures that were discovered that simply vanished without a trace, with no explanation. How could that have possibly happened? The following are just those stories. Here are 10 priceless treasures that vanished. Number 10 is Menorah from the Second Temple. Some priceless treasures are so valuable, not just because of their age and the materials that they're made out of, but because of their religious importance. That's the case with the menorah, which disappeared from the second temple. This artifact was an ancient Hebrew lampstand made of pure gold. It was first used as a portable sanctuary set up by Moses, and then in the second temple in Jerusalem. The menorah had been held up as one of the most important symbols in Judaism. But in 70 BC, the Romans sacked the temple and stole it. They then displayed it as a trophy of war in the ironically named Temple of Peace. The temple then burned down in AD 191. Rumors persist that this priceless treasure ended up in the hands of an East Germanic trade known as the Vandals. But to this day, no one knows where it is. Number nine is the Florentine Diamond. Many treasures have been lost, stolen, or hidden throughout the 20th century. One of the most captivating mysteries from this time is the disappearance of the Florentine diamond. The bright yellow diamond originally came from India, although this origin has been disputed. Many believe that it's as old as at least the 15th century and was worn by Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy, during the Battle of Moret in 1476 in what is now modern-day Switzerland. It was found in the mud by a peasant and since then has changed many hands until 1918 when at some point the diamond was stolen by a mysterious figure close to the imperial family of Austria. Treasure hunters continue to seek for the diamond and sightings suggest that it was smuggled into the United States for some unknown purpose. Number eight is the Hanjo Masomane. The sword known as the Hanjo Masamone represented the Shogun in Japan during their most powerful period. It was passed down from one Shogun to another, a forged symbol of their power. It was won by a general called Hanjo in the 16th century after it split his helmet but did not kill him. The sword remained in Japan until 1945 when the war with the Allies ended. At that time, Sergeant Coldy Beemore walked into a police station where the sword was being kept. He kept it as a representative of the US Army. But Sergeant Beemore then vanished and it was later revealed that there was no such man in the US ranks. It's a complete mystery who he was and what happened to the sword. But as a Japanese cultural and priceless treasure, it remains one of the most sought after and missing artifacts of all time. Number seven is Tucker's Cross. Tucker's Cross is a jewel encrusted 22 karat gold cross discovered by marine explorer Teddy Tucker in 1955. While its origins cannot be verified, some have suggested that the cross came from San Pedro, a Spanish galleon which was lost at sea during the late 15th century. Tucker did not understand how important his find was at the time, but by the 1990s, it was largely considered to be the most priceless artifact ever discovered at a shipwreck site. Long before this, Tucker sold the cross to the government of Bermuda in 1959. He and his wife oversaw the museum where the cross was being stored on the island. But just before the museum was about to be sold, it was discovered that the cross stored there was a fake and that Tucker's original discovery had been stolen and replaced by a replica. It remains missing to this day. Number six is Brink's Mat Robbery. In 1983, over $100 million worth of gold bullion, diamonds, and cash 
were stolen from a warehouse near Heathrow Airport in London. Newspapers dubbed it the crime of the century at the time, and most believed that the robbers and the gold would be recovered. But this was only half true. While some of the robbers were caught, four got away and the gold vanished. By the mid-90s, one theory was that the gold had been melted down and sold back to the legitimate gold market. One report from an insider claimed that all gold jewelry in the United Kingdom now contains some of the stolen gold. While this can't be verified, it could be that the missing treasure trove is hiding in plain sight in the store windows of jewelry shops throughout the United Kingdom. Number five is Kowalin's Coronet. One of the most important lost treasures of Welsh history is the Coelin Coronet, an ancient crown dating back to at least the early 13th century. It was used to crown the Prince of Wales at the time as the leader of the Welsh people. After a short but brutal war with England, the Welsh crown was seized and displayed in Westminster Abbey by King Edward I of England to show that the English had conquered all of Wales. The crown disappeared under mysterious circumstances after that. The fact that such an important relic of English conquest could disappear lends itself to rumors that the Welsh stole it back. Since then, some believe it has been hidden by a secret group in Wales who will one day come forward with the crown when Wales regains its independence. Number four is Takiwaya's Buried Treasure. Stories of buried treasure and hidden loot exist across all cultures. One of the most impressive is the relatively little known mystery of Takiwaya's treasure. This treasure was buried somewhere in Japan around the middle of the 19th century. It's said that the shoguns who had ruled Japan for hundreds of years knew that their empire was about to fall and be replaced by the Japanese emperor. Facing annihilation, the shogun's entire wealth was buried in six huge caskets 76 meters beneath the earth. Then all of those who were involved in hiding the treasure disappeared in order to keep it safe. The treasure has never been recovered, though there are whispers that the Japanese emperor recovered it and eventually used it to pay for Japanese expansion. Treasure hunters continue to this day to look for it with zeal. Number three are the Antwerp Diamonds. In 2003, a group of thieves committed one of the heists of the century, stealing a vast treasure which has never been recovered. Known as the Antwerp Diamond Heist, the treasure trove of priceless jewels included diamonds, gold, and other precious stones. The thieves were led by a man called Leonardo Natarbatolo. Also known as the School of Turin, some of the gang, including Natarbatolo, got arrested but the diamonds have never been retrieved. While authorities claim that the gang stole over $100 million worth of diamonds and gold, he suggests that the entire heist was an insurance scam. Nathar Bartolo was hired by an unnamed man to rob the vault where the diamonds were stored. But he says that there was only $20 million of loot there. Someone has the other 80 million, but nobody knows who. Number two is the Patiala Necklace. Created by the House of Cartier in 1928, the Patiala Necklace was made for a powerful Maharaja. Adorned with a staggering 2,930 diamonds, the necklace included the seven largest diamond in the world. Any one diamond from the necklace would be ridiculously valuable today. The necklace mysteriously vanished in 1948. It was held in the royal treasury of Patiala, but despite being under guard, managed to disappear without a trace. Bizarrely, some of the necklace has reappeared, but not all of it. In 1982, the largest diamond was sold for millions of dollars at an auction in Geneva. Then, a piece of the necklace was discovered in a second-hand jewelry shop of all places in London. However, the majority of the diamonds and large parts of the necklace itself remain missing. And number one is the Peking Man. 
Some treasures are precious because of their rarity and age. Many of these are archaeological relics of our distant past. The Peking Man is just one of those relics and vanished in 1941. Discovered originally near Beijing, the fossils consisted of broken pieces of skull, mandibles, and teeth. They dated back to over 700,000 years ago. The fossils revolutionized our understanding of humanity's origin. Despite being priceless in terms of both monetary and historical value, the fossils disappeared mysteriously in the early 40s. At the time, Beijing was under Japanese control. Just before America and Japan went to war, the fossils were taken. One story suggests that they vanished near America, and another that they were aboard a Japanese vessel which now lies at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. But either way, these are just rumors, and a big part of our archaeological history may be lost forever.